<clears throat> Yo, what's up, sexy Sam Lander Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1. Let me just showcase this before I lock in so I have a little bit of time to showcase the changes to Rom. He got a rework, pretty much. I mean, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. So, his passive, aka Astro Quiver, now, or not his, that, is that his passive or is that his one? Maybe that's his one. Um, either way, basically his passive was like, your arrows recharge. Ha! <laughs> Woo! Sick. Um, but now, um, his passive actually does something. It's actually important. So, basically, let me just build an item real quick. I'm, I plan on going Devos this game. And it's a Poseidon, so I get Aegis. Put one point in everything. So, basically, his passive is you have a 30% chance plus 1% per level to um drop an arrow when you use an arrow right when with your one to drop an arrow with your one your one all it does is slow 10 percent, stacking up to three times obviously um i mean his one is the same literally speaking his two is the same his three you can now cancel which is a big deal but most importantly his one when an arrow drops Gives you 10 mana back. Which is huge. Because mana issues are definitely a thing. That Rom has. And any Rom player will tell you that. As well as his passive. Now includes the fact that. You can cancel this. So you don't use an arrow. Which is huge. Um, and. Whenever you pick up an arrow. From your quiver. It. Takes. I think 0.3 seconds off of your alt cooldown. Let me tab out and look. 0.2 seconds off if he picks up any um, deployable or generates an arrow during the stim. So basically, his alt goes off a lot more now. Or, I guess, um, not necessarily a lot more, but... Well, no, I mean, it's going to be a lot more. Whenever you generate an arrow or pick up an arrow, your alt goes off. Two second cooldowns, you know? That's a big fucking deal, bro. That's a big deal. I just want to get them out of tower range, so if it does, drops an arrow, I can go pick it up. Actually, I think instead of having a chance to drop with every arrow, it's only the first hit of the arrow so i think previously when you use your one it had a percentage chance to drop with each thing you hit but i think with this one the the changed version of the one it's the first thing you hit has a 30 percent chance to drop the arrow but only when you're using your one so you know give and take give and take i think it's pretty good personally Okay. That was a good Aegis on his part, by the way. Definitely ain't taking that away. Good Aegis on his part. I Aegis because I really thought... I genuinely thought when he... Um, whirlpooled me when I went for my arrow, he was just going to crack him. But he didn't crack him. Which was weird. But whatever. Um. So look, you can see my... My alt right now on the cooldown. I'll pick this up and you see it goes down a little bit faster. It's not a huge, huge, huge difference. But over time, you're shredding like maybe 10 seconds off each alt without even having cooldown. You know? And that's, that's huge. That's actually huge. It might not sound huge, but trust me, it is. Does he have blue buff on? Yeah, he does. Okay. Wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing an invade opportunity. 
He can crack in the shit out of me whenever he wants. I think this new ROM where he actually gets mana back when he picks up an arrow. And the cooldown of his ult is reduced slightly. I think it's a gigantic buff. Straight up. I'll, like, I'll just be blunt with y'all. I think it's a gigantic fucking buff. What? Alright, let's go back and get our booties. This guy's not ulting, by the way. I don't know why. He must be doing one of my challenges. Playing Poseidon without ulting? Trust me, I've tried it. Very difficult. Actually, not really. Poseidon's kind of busted, but... But I've tried it with a many, many gods, and most of them it's very difficult. <laughs> This guy, he's gonna just crack in the shit out of me. Damn. Why are you not backing? Bro, that's a bad call. Alright. He Aegis and almost got out of range, but not quite. Not quite. I do really... I do really, really think that... The changes to Rom Are kinda huge. And... When I say kinda huge, I mean like, they're fucking huge, dude. When you're level 20, you have a passive 50% chance... To pick up an arrow when you use one, which is good. Not to mention, you have a 50% chance to pick up an arrow when you use one. That will also lower the cooldown of your alt. That doesn't have a cap to it, by the way. It will always lower the cooldown of your alt. His jukes are very easily readable in the sense that he just serpentines. He doesn't like juke back to one side, he just... I have Devos, so I'm not gonna super clear this. Wow. Um, holy shit. My ult did a thousand damage almost. It did 915 damage. Oh my god. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Look at my MMR, dude. 1956. You want to know why it's at 1956? Well, one, the split reset, so I'm in platinum like everyone else. Um, but two, I fucking lost my first game, this split, because I was playing Ymir to showcase the buff. <clears throat> I lost 600 MMR. 600! And then my last game I won, obviously, so I got some MMR back, but oh my god, it was rough. Anyways, let's look at what they have to say about ROM. ROM doesn't have a passive. This is what the Smite team has been told for years. Instead of reworking his current passive entirely, we looked at ROM's kit as a whole and found a few problems to solve. First, we decided to double down on the current passive and make it more impactful, 
and more closely related to the rest of his kit. This design direction allowed for the mo for most improvements without changing the core flow of his kit. We applied some balance adjustments and quality of life adjustments after that to make ROM feel really smooth. He does feel much smoother. Now that this rolling assault doesn't guarantee that you waste an arrow, it's a lot better. And the fact that the alt, um, every time he picks up an astro arrow, goes on a 0.2 second cooldown, that alt seems like you can go off much faster and it's much more usable than it was. You used to have to hold it a lot more. And I feel like now um, with like, you know, an average of five to 10 seconds off each alt without any cooldown, it makes it a lot more viable to just like, oh, maybe I can do something with it. You know, maybe I'll throw it up and if it doesn't work, whatever, I'll get it back soon. It's not like I'll throw it up and then uh oh now i'm fucking dead with no alt for a minute and a half you know because because his alt is a big deal like a lot of people need his alt um and then obviously his his uh two remove drop chance for arrow pickup from this ability and added while the buff every third successful hit on an enemy god will immediately generate an astral arrow which i didn't even know i didn't read that part but now when you're using um infinite arrows i believe is his two uh so now when you have your oh pick me up rename to infinite arrows so i guess that's his one is that true is that his one i have i have to check in game but um oh i don't have a skin on on for this guy's name is hard he actually has the name hard that's extremely impressive. Astral Strike, Infinite Arrow. So it is his two. So when you have your two active, you every third auto attack, you actually get an extra arrow. That's kind of huge, man. I really like these changes. And I think... Other than just me liking it, I think the entire community is going to like it because it does feel really... It feels much more smooth, you know? You don't have to max your one in order to... Or, sorry, you don't have to max your two in order to get drop chance on your arrows now. Over 1%, you know? Like, now you just... Um, now all you do is... You can max your one for clear and not feel horrible about it, you know? is very very good very good i like these changes a lot i think i think these changes are a lot better than um than the ymir ones actually i right, poked them out quite a bit while clearing wave because you know that's what rom does Oh man, I'm fucking dead. He's so fast. Why is he so much faster than me? He has no boots. He doesn't have speed buff either, does he? Because he's got full mana, right? No, he's got blue buff. Wait, how did he catch up to me so fast? Um, Ravana also got buffed. He got 10 base damage on the 1. Which I think personally was a huge fucking mistake. I think Ravana's abilities hit way too hard in general. And uh, giving him more of a buff seems absurd. Nice. Actually got the kill there. I didn't think I would. I did not think I would. Alright. Good clear, good clear. Oh. This just in, turning off the one actually makes you stop your back. I didn't know that. But whatever. No big deal. Now that I know that, I won't do it again. Patience. 
Like, I don't know. It just feels so much more smooth, dude. It feels so smooth. I really like it, actually. I'm going to play ROM a lot more, probably. On stream, not recording, because I know people don't like it when I play the same gods on recording. But um, I'm probably going to play him quite a bit more on stream, because it feels good. Sight into the unknown. Oh, he did his blue buff. He also did about 800,000 damage to me. Slow down. Okay, nice, nice, nice. I did not know if I was going to be able to do that. I, The second he started looking at me, I knew he was going to ult me, but I didn't know if I was going to be able to survive the ult. I kind of just bet myself I could, <laughs> you know, like, ah, fuck it, Sam, you're fine, you can do it. Kind of just bet myself I could, and then I uh, luckily did. I got devos now, now I just gotta stack them. I can't get to red in time. He's already on his way there, so I'm just gonna forget about it and get this blue. Cancel that so I don't waste an arrow. He does Whole heaps of fucking damage, dude. Alright, well. I and mean, that feels good. I have Devos and he does not, so. A good choice. <clears throat> very, very nice. I don't know if you guys saw that, by the way, but um, the change to the two where it gives you a arrow after the third hit uh, on an enemy, it actually really, really came in handy there. It helped me get an extra slow, which landed me another auto attack, which actually netted me uh, a kill. Really good. I don't know why he didn't ult that, by the way. Maybe he didn't have his ult up. But he should, right? Well, I was going to say he should because I had my ult up, but actually, it's because... He doesn't necessarily get his ult when I have mine because of whenever I pick up an arrow, I get time off my ult. So maybe I just picked up a bunch of arrows recently. Grant me vision. Pick up all those arrows because you got to remember those those arrows are also mana, and shooting an arrow costs twenty mana. So. <laughs> And you don't necessarily have the biggest mana pool in the game. Patience. Just you and me. I can feel nice. Alright, good kill. <clears throat> Got the red buff, got the kill, got the tower, <clears throat> excuse me.
Don't need to pick that one up. I mean, I should have because it lowers my cooldown, actually. Uh, probably just Aegis for when he jumps on me. And I'm just going to go XE straight into this. Uh, Breastplate would be good, but I think XE is fine. It's, it's damage, and we all know how much I like damage. You get those arrows picked up. That right there is cooldown, boys. I have a feeling like whenever I pick up a ROM arrow now, I feel like I'm picking up an outwash corpse or something, you know? Like it just feels much more impactful than picking up a fucking arrow. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. <clears throat> My boy's got. No defense, and that's not good for his well-being. I finished Devos, so I think I'm just going to go straight to the Bull Demon here. I can shred it, man. I thought I could age just fast enough, but I couldn't. But I couldn't. Looks like breastplate was the play there. But I don't know. I mean, we still got his... Uh, <clears throat> we should still be able to get his phoenix down, I think. I used my ult to clear the wave instead of hit him, by the way, because I knew for a fact my ult wouldn't kill him. So... Literally speaking, there's no point in hitting him with it because all it's going to do is lower his HP. And big whoop, what the fuck is that going to do for me? You know, like, if I need if I need something to happen, <coughs> oh, excuse me, if I need something to happen, I got to, I got to do it, you know? I don't think he can kill me right now, by the way. All of his relics. Alright, that fight looked closer than it actually was because I had to wait out his relics. He used both of his relics and um, I just used Bracer. That fight wasn't actually as, it wasn't actually as close as it looked. Or like most fights aren't going to be that close I should say. This one I probably die though because I stayed way too long. Alright. Damn, dude. Damn. Rom feels good. I'll be honest. I think that I think the changes to Rom are really impactful, and I applaud the uh, Titan Forge team that did it. Well, fucking played, Titan Forge team. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace.